Hello again, welcome to this tutorial, part of our photo restoration series that we're making. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering um, how to remove photo textured paper, how to remove the texture from the paper. So let's have a look at the photograph that we've got here at the moment. Now, this photograph was taken on textured paper. Now, if I zoom in, you can see what I mean. It's like little perforation marks all over the paper, all over the photo, which doesn't look quite, uh, doesn't look pleasant. So what we want to do is try to remove this from the photograph. Now there's numerous ways of doing this. There's Gaussian blurs and and whatnots, and noise removal, neat image. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you three simple steps how to remove this texture from the paper. So, first step we're going to be using the FFT filter which you can download off the internet or you may have to purchase it. There's different types but we're going to be using mine set up to an action so we're going to be using the FFT filter from the action bar. So let's go from there. So let's start this off. I'm going to run that action and it's give us this window. This is a typical FFT window that you'll see. I'll try and zoom in a bit so you can see what's happening. So you should get this little window popping up with your FFT once you've run it. So let's just zoom that in now so we can see what it means. So these little marks here are the marks that we have to put black with a soft brush over. So what we want to be doing is selecting our brush, make sure it's a soft brush, and make sure the foreground's black. And all you have to do is proceed in putting your little black dots over these white marks. Now I don't know how this works. I think it's putting some sort of uh, pass from a a grey pass over it or something. I don't really know. But all I know is it does a good job. So let's just let's just click on these try to you know take your time cover them all doesn't matter if you put one on that's not meant to be there so much as long as you can see these little white dots they're really tiny they're like little stars and I think that's to do with the the perforations on the paper I'll try and zoom in a little bit so you can see them I said it might be hard to see I can just see them here like so and just keep proceeding covering them over like so there's quite a few sometimes you're going to get different results from different filters so this is one of the better filters I can't remember where I got it from I'll try and if I remember I'll put it up on a link for you to download it's a paying one you have to pay for it this one so let's just carry on nearly there cover these ones. I'm not sure whether they needed to be done but I'm going to do them just in case. Like so. Just a few more. Obviously you can take a bit more time on that so let's just zoom out a tad and see what we got. Okay so it's looking like that now which looks pretty funky. 
so we're going to just run the rest of our script like so and that's it as you can see all the perforations gone that's the before and that's the after and after. Now I think if you look at the eyes there's not much loss of detail from the eyes which is fantastic because if you use the, the blur tool, the Gaussian blur and stuff like that and the, it tends to take a bit of detail out but you don't seem to lose any detail this way which is pretty good. So the next thing we want to do is going to add the filter noise now you can use whatever way you want to do this but I'm going to use just the, the paint shop the Photoshop one and I'm going to have a settings of 10 and 12 like so with full strength click OK and that's cleaned that right up now as you can see that's looking pretty sharp. So what, one more thing I want to do there before I start to call that done, I want to use a smart smart sharpen on it and as you can see it's already just started to come back in. The settings I'm going to use on this are 25% and 4.2 pixels and remove Gaussian blur and just add that like that and that's the before and that's the after the sharpen as you can see it lifts those eyes right out and puts all the detail back and we're going to click OK and I think you agree that's all the perforation gone even on the jumper or the top all gone and that just leaves you to start doing your restore on the rest of the photo. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Brian. I'll be making some more tutorials in the future. So keep coming back and please comment. Bye for now.